So you've probably noticed how there's a lot of cool NASA related stuff to buy on the internet, ranging from t-shirts, models, mugs, posters, and much more. And I'm definitely a big sucker for them, as you may have noticed in the background of this channel's videos. But I've also been trying recently to add some China related space stuff as well. Now, to be honest, it's much less common to find cool China space props online, especially when you're based outside of China. Now, I may have found a solution because I recently came across a Chinese company called Sembo or Sembo Blocks in English. And these guys are based in the city of Shantou in southern China. And they're sort of a building blocks company, a Chinese Lego, if you will. And they actually have a space products lineup. And so I ordered a long watch 2F model. I just received it a couple of days ago. I have no idea what to expect. So I thought it'd be interesting to build it with you guys, share my thoughts and see if it deserves a spot or not on your shelf. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this with my own money. Let's get started. And so this is the package I got after an order off AliExpress, which took ages, by the way, with COVID making international shipping go absolutely down the hill. And it's delivered in this soft white plastic wrapper paper rather than a nice box like you'd get with Lego. But I suspect it's because they removed the box before shipping from China to lower shipping costs. I suppose that you'd get the box if you were ordering from a Chinese address because you do see nice boxes on Sembo Blocks commercials in Chinese. Now, without any further ado, let's unbox this whole thing, put it together and see what this guy is worth. And so here is the final result. Let me share my thoughts on the good and the bad, starting with realism. In other words, to what extent does this sample block model resemble the actual Long March 2F? So first of all, I checked the proportions of the boosters in the center stage, measuring the diameters and the heights, and I found that the model was generally at a homogeneous scale of one to 90-ish, which is rather a good thing. Only the diameter of the core stage was a bit too large at a scale that was more around 1 to 70, which is significantly off, but not to a point of being displeasing to the eye. Now, having said that, there are two things which are totally disproportionate. The first one is the rocket fins on the boosters. They are way too large compared to the real thing. And the same goes for the size of the cones on top of the boosters, which clearly don't have the correct cone angle. Now, in terms of surface details, on the other hand, I think these are rather really good. At a basic level, you have stickers that were provided to mimic the blue rings and the red checkered designs on the boosters. And you also have the Long March 2F or the Zhongguo Hangtian in Chinese on the core stage. Next, you also have the interstage vent holes, which are indispensable when the first and second stages perform hot separation. And you also have the main escape and separation motors at the top, as well as the four grid fins, which are used to stabilize the fairings and the Shenzhou spacecraft inside in case the launch escape system is activated. Now, moving on to build quality, having built quite a few Lego space sets myself, with Sembo blocks here, I didn't really feel that big of difference in the sense that the bricks pretty much snapped into each other very smoothly, and the instructions that were provided were very intuitive. One relatively minor negative point, however, is that the two faces of the lower part of the core stage held together with only two attach points, which is an odd choice in my opinion, because this can lead to some flexure and this makes the set more fragile. And this is in contrast, for example, with the LEGO Saturn V, which I also own and which is absolutely built like a tank. Finally, a lot of the external details, as mentioned, come from stickers, which is not great in my opinion because they can be a little bit tricky to stick. And if you do it wrong, it's quite difficult to change that without damaging the sticker itself. It would have probably been much better to print the details directly on the bricks themselves, but I guess that is something that would have increased the cost of the set. So in conclusion, is this Sembo Block set worth your money? I think the answer to that is Probably yes, considering that it costs less than 40 US dollars, which is significantly cheaper than the price point of a Lego set. The build quality is slightly lower than Lego, but it remains relatively solid, especially at this price point. I can't really speak for other symbol blocked products because I haven't seen them, I don't own them. However, I feel that they can be an interesting addition to Lego in the sense that they give 
access to the otherwise inaccessible Chinese space theme sets. That is, of course, if you're willing to wait through the current very long shipping time of AliExpress. And finally, if you're interested in knowing more about the Long March 2F rocket, we have a dedicated episode on the channel where we deep dive into this very topic. And so that's a wrap up for this episode. A special thanks to our most recent patrons, which have started supporting the channel on our newly established Patreon page at patreon.com slash Hour. Your support is deeply appreciated and you help make this channel more sustainable on the long term. I'm Jean Deville of the Dongfang Hour. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.